Hi guys, in this video we're going to use Fusion 360 and just sketch planes to model a helical gear. Here we have a helical gear which has a helix angle of 20 degrees, a width of 34 millimeters, a major diameter of 60 millimeters and a minor diameter of 47 millimeters. If you like this video, if you, fi if you find it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Okay, so we've opened up Fusion 360, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch on the bottom plane. And here we have our bottom plane. We're going to create a center, center diameter circle, and that's going to be our internal, which is our 47 millimeters. And then we're going to create another one, which is going to be our 60 millimeters. There you go. Right, and our outside circle um, is just going to be a construction curve, so we're just going to make that construction curve there. Right, the next thing is to measure the tooth thickness. So I've measured my tooth thickness to be two millimeters, so we're going to zoom in and use the two point rectangle tool and go up just to the guide curve and make that two millimeters there. This might, might not be great if you want an exact model, um, in which case have a look at the helical gear generator plugin in the description below. So we've created our tooth and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select each edge of that tooth and we're gonna use a sketch circular pattern tool around the center point and this gear has 12, 12 teeth so we're going to rotate it 12 times and hit the OK button. So we've got our tooth and now we, for this particular gear we had a fillet between each tooth and the, the use for this gear is actually metering seeds so each, each little bucket has a certain amount of seeds in it. So we want to add a fillet in here, you might not want this for your gear um, but there's always a possibility and then we're just going to move that fillet up and set it so it's very close to the minor diameter there so there you go that's cool so now we have our fillet um, where we will rotate that around the axis so we're going to do a circular pattern We've selected our object and we're just going to rotate it around that center point and then we're going to set it to 12 again. Okay. So in a minute we're going to use the loft tool um, which is here, the loft tool, and that will take two profiles and move the or transition the shape between the two profiles. But to do that we need a solid sketch body. So we're going to go into the sketch tool and use trim and we're going to delete the lines we no longer need. So we're going to delete all these guidelines. Okay. And come come out of that tool and we're just going to make that center circle now a construction curve. So there you go. That's kind of our top down profile of the gear we want. Oh, we have two more to remove there. And if we click on it, that should be a solid shape. Brilliant. Okay, so we can have a look at that there, and that looks that looks good. The next thing to do is to enable 3D sketching. So what we want to do for that is go into your preferences by clicking on your name at the top pressing preferences, going design and checking the box for allow 3D sketching of lines and splines. And that will give you this box here to make you or allow you to do 3D sketching. So have that checked as well. Okay, so the next thing to do is calculate the angle we need to rotate this top profile by. We can see here we have a right angle triangle on the edge of the plane and we want to achieve our 20 degree helix angle and to do that we need to know how to rotate this top profile. 
Here we have a adjacent angle, an adjacent side to a right angle triangle and the opposite. So we can use tan to calculate how much this opposite side is. And this opposite side is an arc angle or an arc distance. And from this, we can calculate theta, which is the amount we need to rotate the top profile by in order to achieve the correct helix angle. So we're going to take our tan 20 and we're going to times it by our A, which is 34. And that's going to give us our 12.37498. So this, this side here is our 12.3749. And equally, this arc is 12.3749. So this arc. So we want to calculate theta. So we do that by using this equation here. And this equation is in radians. So what we're going to do is we're going to say theta equals s, which is our arc length, 12.37498. And we're going to divide that by our radius. So we had above that our, the radius of the whole of a gear, our major diameter is 60, so our radius will be half of that and be 30. So we're going to divide that by 30. Okay, and that will give us our 12.37498 divided by 30, which is 0.412. Four, keep it like that and then just to keep it simple and put it back into degrees divide that by pi times that by 180 and that will give us our 23.6344 degrees okay so that's the amount of degrees we need to rotate this top pane by plane by in order to achieve a 20 degree helix angle. So we're going to take our 23.6344. Now depending on the direction of your helical gear, we're going to use the M tool, select the pivot of the center point, hit OK, create a copy and then we're going to move it up by the width of our gear, which in this case is 34. And then we're going to rotate it. There you go. Um, either negatively or positively, depending on which way you want your teeth to sweep. And we're going to make that our, our angle we've just calculated, which for us is negative 23.63447. And hit OK. So if we look at this as a top-down view, we can see we have our sweep on there. What we now want to do is create some rails for the loft tool to follow. So ensuring we have 3D sketch enabled, we're going to take our line and we're going to find the corner and we're going to move that up to the adjoining tooth. I'm just going to make sure we latch onto the corner. And we're going to take that corner there and move it down to the other tooth. There you go. Okay, so that will be 20 degrees. And what we're now going to do is we're going to select those two there and we're going to use the circular pattern tool again. Select the center point, put 12 in there. And here we have our guide rails, and that will be how our teeth are drawn. Okay, so we can now use the loft tool. And the first thing we're going to do is select all our rails. So we're just going to go across like that, and that will select all our rails for us. And then we're going to select the profile. So we have our bottom and our top profile. And there you go. That is a helical gear in Fusion 360. And we're just going to OK that. And 
and that is our gear. So what we're just going to do quickly is just to check that that is 20 degrees. So we're just going to select a pane just to sketch on. We're just going to draw up from the bottom of a tooth and make sure that is our 90 degrees there. Next we're going to use the inspect tool and we're just going to select the new line that's vertical and select the edge of a tooth. So now we've measured that and it's come out at 20 degrees. So that's our 20 degree hel helix angle for our hexical gear. And we can go ahead and bore out a center to it, which we will do, um, and we'll get that 3D printed. So this is a finished product pin printed in red pet G. You can see like it's come out reasonably well. And if we compare it to the original gear, it's pretty spot on with the 20 degree helix angle. There you go. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll see you next time.